as you just brought up, Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't heard, he was in Paris and he got accused of rape by a young lady. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, mm-hmm. now, his history, he has a bad history. Yeah. He's a violent man. Yeah. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. He mm-hmm. beat Rihanna, mm-hmm. even though there's conspiracy theories about that. Mm-hmm. There's a conspiracy theory that they were fighting, but still, you don't hit a woman. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, he, he, um, that situation, MTV, he threw the chair out the window. Mm-hmm. You know, he's had anger issues. Mm-hmm. So once this came to light, Twitter tore him down. Word. But oh, you know, see? You know who else who has, who, who has had problems like that before? Mm-hmm. Justin Bieber. Oh, yeah, but he, know, he's a he's a, it's a lily little white boy from Canada. You word, know what I'm saying? Word. Not comparing. Word, because... Word. Because people love attacking you like, oh, why are you comparing? I'm not comparing. Mm. I'm just saying both of them have issues and you're focusing on one. Word. If you really about the issues, word. you would focus on everyone, not just one person. Word, word. And I want to say, first of all, this nigga puts himself, well, I don't want to say puts himself in a situation. Cause, well, yeah, kind of. Well, all right. Th- all right. The thing is, how the story went, he got accused of rape. You know, um, people on Twitter... Tore him a new one. Talk about, oh, of course, this is continued behavior. He's an abuser, of course. And, it's a, and then the other side of Twitter, which is the ignorant side of Twitter, like they don't process things. Mm. They're like, oh, why Chris Brown got to rape a woman? He can get any bitch you want. It's not about that, nigga. Mm. If you're going to defend Chris Brown, defend him properly. Mm. Raping a woman has nothing to do whether you want her, whether she's attracted to her, it's attraction anyway. Mm, it's, it's a forced sexual act. It's a power thing. It's a power thing. For mm. instance, this football player, um, Darren Sharper, mm. no homo, he's a very good looking guy. Mm. Before um, his rape allegations came, all of the women were swooning over him. You know, they love how I look, but came out, he raped seven women, Whoa. drugged them. Whoa. Drug, and he's in jail now. Wow. This man is a Super Bowl champion. He's in jail now. Mm. But that goes to show you that it doesn't matter about how you look or it's not about that. Mm. The rape is not about that. Y'all need to get that through y'all dense heads. Word, it's word. ridiculous. But the girl came out and said Chris Brown had no involvement. Mm. And those same people, and I'm not going to say which gender, mm. the same people on Twitter that was bashing them, no apologies. Mm. Of course. Yeah. And now Chris no, Brown is are, suing that girl. No, people are still bashing him because people still... Like, believe he did it. Even though the girl said she didn't. Because people aren't looking for that information. No, they're not. They're only looking for the information that validates what they think already. Thank you. They think, like, if you go online and you see things, oh, he's a woman beater, da 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 da. And, you know, not to say pe- he's, people are wrong. He did mm-hmm. beat a woman. Yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? But then Oh, sorry. And another one, he was, remember he stalked Karuchi mm. when he was with. I think that's how he said it, Karuchi. Mm. Um, she had it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she had to get a restraining order. Yeah. So we know he has issues, but yeah. rape is a heavy allegation. Word, word. Corruptions. <laughs> Corruptions. <laughs> but rape is a heavy allegation. Word. And people, whenever, whenever, especially sometimes when a man brings this up, and sometimes men bring this up in order to deflect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so I understand that. Mm-hmm. However, not every time it's brought up, it is to deflect. Women who falsely accuse mm-hmm. pe- um, people of, of, of rape mm-hmm. should face heavy consequences. Agreed. Because, yeah. one, you make it harder for a woman who may be real, who have really been assaulted. Yeah, by crying wolf. Yeah, by exactly, crying wolf. Exactly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To me, you the, you the roaches of the roach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As a woman, you really, you really pull in power from other women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And... And they should be held accountable. I agree. I agree 100%. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should be held accountable. I feel like whenever you speak on um, the accountability of one party, mm-hmm. um, people all, always tend to, or some sometimes people tend to... Um, deflect. Deflect or say, yeah, say you're just completely for that side. It's like, no, it encompasses it. Exactly. Yeah. You have to include both sides. Word. For a, for a sound argument. Where <laughs> ultimately is the man responsible for not um um for not for not raping? Um it, yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? you know what I mean? Are we it's on us to educate ourselves, our our brothers, you know, our, our sisters. sons, our sisters, everybody. No, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Everybody. That's our responsibility. Um it's the only way the neighborhood could build and get better. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. But then there, all, there also has to be um, accountability 
um, on the other side too. Yeah, and like, and when you try to um, call them out for their accountability, they bring numbers like, oh well, the amount of women that are raped and the amount of women that lied about being raped is so dip. Okay, I understand that, but mm -hmm. principle. Yeah. Even though, let's say, fifteen thousand women were actually raped, mm -hmm. but only a hundred lied about being raped. Mm -hmm. That's a hundred men's lives ruined. So you can add it to that fifteen thousand mm -hmm. of lives ruined. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, you you understand what I'm saying, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and you made a good point, right? I'd even think about that. You're, like you said, you ruined it for other women that actually were raped, mm -hmm. and they they need to be heavily punished. Yeah. Now I was having a discussion with friends the other day, and somebody asked. If a woman lied about being raped, does she deserve to go to jail? And that's a tricky question because sometimes women do lie because they're scared to come out about it. So it's better to ask if you actually found, if there's evidence you found out that she was lying, mm. she should be punished. Mm. Because some women unfortunately do lie mm. because they're so broken and messed up. They don't want to talk about it mm. and they know people are not going to believe them. So they're like, no, 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 forget it. Word. Which is insane to me. We're uh, true. And if you, if you make it to where... Um, false accusers are, are arrested. Mm -hmm. I just thought about this. Like, what if someone's really, really raped, but then they can't? It can't be proven, or, or for whatever, whatever reason. Yeah, it's there's a, it's a potential a, for innocent women who've already been victimized to be victimized again, again by the system. True. So I mean, dang. It's, yeah, it's, it's a double-edged sword. It's tricky. It's a double-edged yeah. sword, but it's, I mean. You know, you can make the whole argument that, oh, maybe Chris Brown threatened her, paid her off, da da da, blah, blah. But right now, as we know, just as you knew that mm. she that he raped her, mm. allegedly, mm. and you don't have much evidence about that, she mm. came out and said, I wasn't raped. We don't have any evidence about that. They're on the same level right yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What, what? And to make it worse, not to be a conspiracy theorist, but he just became the youngest artist to own his masters. Mm. And then that happened. Mm -hmm. So it's it's this is this bad timing. Word word. It's terrible timing. It's a grab at the bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and some women are like that. Like th there was this, there was this. Um, I forgot his name. This this football player. He like, and not even him, but several other. They, he served like four or five years, and I guess the guilt ate the ate the lady up, mm -hmm. and she came out and said that. You know, he did it rape me. I lied. And this man lost out on millions. He was supposed to be a first round draft pick. Mm. Oh, wow. And he lost out on everything. And I think he sued her too. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like, the thing is, it's like, it's a double edged you know sword. Crazy? It's a real you, sensitive subject. You got, to, you got to look on the other side of the table too. Like, imagine how a man feels after the accusation of actually uh, being a rapist. Yeah. You know, but, especially if you're close with the females in your family or mm, just in general, mm. like, being accused of. As a murderer, I feel it's almost lighter than being accused as a rapist. I, I'm sure. Rapist. I, no, because with murder, you get life. With rape, you yeah. get a certain amount. You can come out, and then you have to live with that no, tag. I mean you know what I'm saying? Something. It's kind of like with pedophiles. Like It's something related mm. to sex mm. Yes. that makes it almost seem worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. If you ran up in a store, you was high up on whatever meth, and you fucking killed a nigga... It almost don't seem as bad as someone like looking in the eyes of the victim and fucking doing some shit like that to them. Yeah, yeah because yeah. the victim has to live with that. Yeah, you kill yeah. somebody, yeah. they're done. Yeah, yeah. You they're rape done, someone, yeah. they have to live yeah. with that. You can, you yeah. can, you can kill somebody by accident. Yeah, you know what I'm exactly. Saying? You don't you know rape I mean? anyone by accident, especially <laughs> nowadays. You know, it, it takes a, a special type of. But I mean, we we brought that up to kind of to kind of bring in the point of of mm -hmm. um, just. I don't know, accountability just like how how people perceive things. Yeah, don't because, jump to conclusions. Because yeah. when when it's when it's a black man already guilty, people are like oh, this that that because like, of his history. Oh yeah, yeah. It's passed but, on him. Yeah. Even even Bill Cosby. Oh, you should have seen people. Oh man. Bill Cosby, all types of piece of shit. Oh yeah. And at this point, I can't disagree with you. Yeah. But where is that same energy for? for that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's for Kavanaugh. For for Sergeant Orange, um, for Weinstein, Weinstein, R. Kelly, R. R, R, R Kelly. Well, no, no, no. See, that's the thing. That's another eggshell area you have to walk on. I don't know if you heard. You heard what happened with Taraji P. Henson? Um, no. Okay, she posted this video on her Instagram story of her. I guess she was on her her um tablet, and she Googled, like she was um she no sorry she went on Instagram and searched mute R Kelly the hashtag mm. and it was a bunch of hashtags mute R Kelly California mute R Kelly Florida blah blah and she's like all right let me check something else and then she put mute Weinstein mm. 
Mm. One hashtag. Mute Harvey Weinstein. Mm. No hashtags. And mm. then she was like, hmm. That's all she did. Mm. Twitter dragged her through glass through the desert. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And she and she cleared herself up. Mm-hmm. And I understand where she was coming from because, like I said on other podcasts, there is a conspiracy to tear down the black man as much as they can, especially mm. if you're in a higher position. Oh, yeah. But like I said, R. Kelly is not that. Yeah. He is a monster, so mm. he deserves to be torn down. Mm. So does everyone else. Word. But the thing is, because he's black, mm. they put all the attention on him. Now, people will say, oh, uh, Weinstein lost his company. He's in trial right now, blah, blah, blah. Even though one of the women dropped out. Mm. Um, I forgot her name. I don't even want to quote her name wrong. But she dropped out from the case um, and, you know, isn't persecuting Harvey Weinstein anymore. Mm. But the thing is, um, sorry. Even even that comes with backlash. (laughs) Yeah. Coming out and say, hey, this person did this to me. You, like, people, like, all right. Like, I'm, I'm still truly disgusted. Yeah. At the Kavanaugh situation, how that handled. Yeah. Now he's in a high position in office. Bro. I'm disgusted with how he handled. Bro. He, yeah, he was he's, he's like, like a, a child. He's a 15-year-old in the cafeteria <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Word. And then like, he are just you kidding gets, me? And you then just... him and his constituents just get validated. Exactly. And you then, just And then now it's like, and see? Sworn in. Yeah. Exactly. See? And, when, and that translates to innocence in their eyes. Exactly. You know, oh, I got was, away with it. Where he wasn't found guilty, so da, 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 da. I'm like, y'all didn't say that about OJ. Exactly. But, you know. You know what's so crazy? <laughs> the other day on uh, Breakfast Club, I was watching Andrew Gillum, mm-hmm. uh, the representative for Florida. Shout out, brother Gillum. Recently. And um, it was so funny how he explained some of the intricacies of how important it was for them to get the guy, the Republican guy that they got, mm-hmm. because he knows that Republicans have to secure Florida Mm -hmm. in order to get the presidency. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be president again? Trump. And he was saying that like during that that election time, Mm -hmm. Trump was all over Florida, just visiting. Oh, yeah. Just Mm -hmm. coming through. I remember that. It's it's just those intricacies. Like, Mm -hmm. you never know. And then we're sitting here three and a half years from then, or two and a half years from now, like, damn, why they won Florida? Mm-hmm. He put that in the bag from 2019. Yeah, from yeah. From, from from way back. You know I mean? a, a lot of those towns he hasn't been back since. Nope. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what, that's what <laughs> Chappelle tried to yeah. tell you, Word. broke, missing two trailer park crackers. He's not yeah. for you. Word. He came here he to get them, what he wanted. He got it and he dipped on you. He had them crackers. You're not space for us. Look yeah, like and oh, bring back um, uh, um, coal space mining force? and shit. Word. Yeah, you want black lung that bad? <laughs> Is wrong with Word. you? Space Force. Space Force, bro. That shit. Word, bro. And now the government shut down because of your dumb ass. Word. Now you can't get your food stamps. Word. We gotta get. We gotta get Space ISIS. Out space there. ISIS. Out shut the, the fuck before they blow up. It up the, blow up the sun and destroy the earth. Yeah, but all in all, man, like it, it, when it comes to that, when it comes to the um, the situation of rape and everything, you have to treat it delicately. Mm. On one hand, of course, don't just deny the woman that said she was raped. Don't say you don't believe her. Handle it as if it did happen. Mm-hmm. And then on the other side, just don't automatically accuse the man mm-hmm. or the person who raped this individual. Mm-hmm. You have to treat it you, you, know, you have to treat it equally. Have a fair and, trial. Have a fair trial. Yeah, have a fair have trial. A fair you know, it's and, a, and once again I understand that nine times so, out of ten the truth gonna wash out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand that some women don't want to come forward. I understand, but there's a proper there's a right and a wrong way to do everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you will look stupid. Word. You, will, you will bash this man, find out he's innocent. Oh well, Word. he was a piece of shit back then. Word. That's why yeah. I don't. I don't be. <laughs> I, I save my my comments, my judgments a lot until cert, like everything comes up. Yeah, I feel you. Cause I pe- feel you. people people just lean in based on their you. own prejudices. Yeah, you know what I mean. Our, yeah, they, they're in their little bubble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It, it, nothing outside of that, you know can convince them otherwise. That's the only way to put it.